Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable USB ports on your Windows computer. So if for whatever reason you're having an issue with your ports being blocked by some sort of issue with the registry perhaps, in today's tutorial I am going to show you guys how to re-enable them. So, and I'll show you guys what will be the inverse as well of how to disable it as well. So one thing I do want to point out, if you have physical damage to your USB port or your pen drive or flash drive itself, this tutorial is not going to cover physical damage. It's going to just purely cover a software solution. So if there's physical damage to your flash drive or your USB port on your computer isn't working, that is beyond the scope of the topic of today's tutorial. And I would recommend, before you proceed in this video, try and plug your flash drive into other ports on your computer. Or if you're having an issue with, let's say, your external mouse or keyboard, if you have a plug-in mouse or keyboard, you want to maybe just try changing the USB port and plug it into a different port and see if that resolves the problem. So that would be one way of kind of indicating whether it's a USB problem or it's a specific device or hardware issue. So. Anyway, if we've eliminated that as a possibility, we're going to go ahead and move on to our solution for the software-based solution. And that's going to entail opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So let me just quickly close out of all of these. So anyway, like I said, we want to create a backup before we proceed. In order to do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File up at the top left, and then select Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on the computer. And then you just click on Save. And if you ever need to import the backup back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location on your computer. So again, pretty straightforward process on that front as well. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the System folder. And then locate Current Control Set. Double click on that. Should be a Services folder. So expand Services. And then you want to go down to the USB section. So look for a USB folder, all capital letters here. It's all in alphabetical order. You can also type it in as well, and it should take you directly to the folder here. So if you click on one of these folders and then just start typing, it should take you here. You want to look for a folder that says USB TOR. So again, USB S T O R. Didn't say the extra S the first time I set it up. So again, USB S T O R. Go ahead and just left click on that. So if you need to pause the video this time and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to locate the start D word value. So go ahead and double click on that. So if you want to enable all of your USB ports, you keep it at 3 or type in the number 3 numerically as you see on my screen here. And then you would select OK. If you wanted to disable all USB ports, you would delete whatever value is in here and type the number 4. So 4 will disable the USB ports, and 3 will enable the USB ports. And then you would select OK to save the change. You will need to restart your computer for that to take effect. And let's go ahead and actually just restart our device here. And there you go guys, should be as simple as that. 
And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.